Hi, in this video, I'm talking about the Arduino Pro Micro. We're going to look just at the um, chip itself and then just some very simple installation instructions. Uh, yeah, I just picked up one of these um, really nice little little boards there. Uh, I think I picked up mine from Amazon. And I think they're Chinese clones and uh, work the same perfectly well. I think it was like three or three to five pounds, something like that. Really nice little board. Um, one of the nice things it does is it uh, uses some sort of special, I didn't quite quite get it, but uh, it um, has something to do with, uh, it has a built-in FTDDI chip and it works really nice. And um, they've sort of doubled up these ports. So in fact, you can have 10 analog ports and I guess really uh, almost well like 18 was it 18 or 19 so 19 digital ports and it's a really little compact package which is which is quite nice um so simply just to say to install it uh i've really gone to the spark fun page here at this at this address and um just downloaded i'm i'm working on the mac so downloaded you have to add the uh, you have to install the arduino add-on so let me just cover that. So here, you just have to be careful. Pay attention to which, it took me a while. Pay attention to which version of Arduino, uh, IDE, you're using. So if you're using the 1.5 and up, uh, or you use these ones, but if you're using below 1.5, use this one. Um, I believe my Arduino is an older version, I think, though I'm due to update it uh, about Arduino. And 1.6.1.1. Okay, no, I'm using the latest version. Um, at least at this recording. So um, I would download this one right here. So if you go ahead and download those. Okay, and then, you know, open and unzip them. And uh, then here, what where you're gonna put them then is you're gonna put them into um, a folder, one of your folders, your sketch folder, okay, and you can you can do that by going Arduino, uh, let's see, sketch, show sketch folder, you can do that, all right. Uh, or generally speaking, it's in documents in Arduino. All right, and then there's libraries and there's test. And what you'll have to do is then you'll create a You'll create a folder in here if it doesn't already exist called hardware. And you know, these instructions are on the SparkFun page, but I'll just go over them. And then within that hardware folder, you'll pull that whole SparkFun, the one that downloaded the SparkFun AVR. So we'll pull that in there. Okay. So if I restart my Arduino IDE, I should now see. Uh, under sketch or tools and boards, I should now see the SparkFun boards here. Okay. Now this particular board here that I'm using is um, uh, five volt, 16 megahertz. Um, I guess they come in one or the other variety, but not, you know, the like the Arduino Uno has a both a five volt and a three volt out. Um, this these just come in one or the other. Right. So, yeah. So there you go. That, that should be ready to use. Obviously, once you plug it in, you choose your, you know, you choose your board and then you choose your port. I don't have my plugged in right now. And then you're good to go. Um, they have a nice little sketch here, the blinkies and that it's a little bit different from blink the in the examples. And this will help you get um, help you get started uh, and just show you that it's working. So just copy that code and pop it in. Let me go ahead and plug mine in, which I've done, and then I will grab this code and I will open up a new sketch. Well, the n new sketches already include the setup in the loop, but I'm just going to get rid of those and paste the sketch over that. And then I'll make sure everything's chosen. I have my USB modem there. That's what it comes up as. And my board will be the Spike Spark Fun Micro 5 Volt. And I'll upload the code. I'll have to save the sketch first. It's fine. Hmm. 
Yeah. That uploaded successfully, and you'll see that it is blinking there. Back and forth, I guess previously it had been loaded already. Blinking back and forth, and um, if you go to the serial monitor, you'll see every second or so it pr prints that whole hello world. Okay, so there you go, it works. And that's what you need to get started with the Arduino Pro Micro.